हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक अबैक ऑन हाना एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर्ड द इंट्रोडक्शन टू हाना एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर टू टू थ्री मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट हाना इज नॉट ए स्टैंड अलोन हार्डवेयर इट्स नॉट ए स्टैंड अलोन सॉफ्टवेयर इट इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ Hana is a appliance. It is a combination of hardware and software both. After that, how Hana database is different from traditional databases? In case of traditional databases, the data stored in the secondary memory in the hard disk. But in case of Hana database, yes. data is in the main memory we can store that data in the main memory also means we can store that data in the ram also now into this particular video we will start with the core concepts or features of sap hana and we will cover so many core concepts or features of sap hana now what are those features or core concepts first one in memory computing second one integration of olap and oltp third one row and column storage fourth one data compression then we have simplified data models then we have table partitioning and then we have insert only on data we will cover all these core concepts and the features of sap hana and so many important points will come and into this particular video we will cover first two now in the previous video i put so much stress on the first point in memory computing so what is the first feature of sap hana in memory computing in the previous video we covered yes sap hana has in memory database what do you mean by in memory in memory means we can store that data in the main memory we can store that data in the ram also if you are able to store that data in the main memory in the ram it means yes we can process large amount of data in the real time because there is no need to bring that data from secondary memory to primary memory your data is in the main memory ram itself so with the help of this particular feature we can go for processing of large amount of data in the real time so first most important feature of sap hana is in memory computing in memory computing means yes data can store in the main memory also means in the ram also now we will go for the next feature and the next feature is integration of olap and oltp if you are appearing for a basic interview on hana yes definitely this question will be the part of the interview yes what do you mean by olap oltp and hana is what in terms of that now hana is an integration of both oltp and olap firstly i will read the theory and then we will understand in detail that traditional databases traditional databases means oracle cybase db2 they are suitable for oltp only so whenever we have oltp traditional databases are good they are not suitable for olap when it comes on to olap they are not suitable for olap on the other hand 
एस ए पी हाना इज डिजाइंड इन सच ए वे दैट इट कैन हैंडल ओ एल ए पी एंड ओ एल टी पी बोथ नाउ फर्स्टली वी विल गो इन टू डिटेल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट इज ओ एल टी पी एंड वट इज ओ एल ए पी नाउ ओ एल टी पी दिस ओ एल टी पी स्टैंड फॉर ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन प्रोसेसिंग वेयर एज ओ एल ए पी स्टैंड फॉर ऑनलाइन एनालिटिक प्रोसेसिंग एंड द वर्ड इट्स सेल्फ हेल्प अस टू डिफ्रेंशिएट इन द फर्स्ट वन we have the word transaction and in the second word and in the second we have the word analytics in case of oltp in case of oltp online transaction processing the volume of data is less whereas in case of olap the volume of data is more or like we can say it's very huge in case of olap now we will understand by example and once i will take the example you will understand what oltp and what olap is suppose if i will go for any example suppose there is a business and in the business we have on the daily basis we have the transactions yes so day to day transactions of that business is the example of oltp whatever the transactions are on daily basis they are the example of oltp now we will go for example of olap suppose that particular company is selling the products whatever the transactions are on daily basis they are the example of oltp suppose after an year two year or five years what company want to do company want to check what is the maximum selling product in the last five years it means what the company has to do at that point of time it has to consolidate the data of those five years and then it has to analyze that data of those five years and that is the example of olap that's why we are saying in case of oltp the volume of data is very less because you are simply going for day to day data but in case of olap analytic word is there analytic means we need to do the analysis analysis for the years of data and so many companies do this in real world this is the way suppose if i will go for simple example if a company want to check what is the maximum selling product in the last 6 months it means the company has to firstly consolidate the data of 6 months then they can check they can do the analysis then what is the maximum selling product now traditional databases are suitable for only only oltp because the volume of data is less but in case of this but hana database hana database is suitable for both because you all know in case of hana database in case of hana database the data is in the main memory main memory ram itself so it's very easy to consolidate the data and we can simply simply analyze the data that's why we are simply saying sap hana is designed in such a way that it can go for olap and oltp both this in memory computing this in memory database it's very very extremely useful feature now if i will simply read the theory handling day to day data for any business is the example of oltp whereas consolidating the data and analyzing the data is an example of olap 
in case of hana we can handle both olap and oltp using single platform only in hana yes we have in memory database and we can handle both so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with the features or of sap hana and in this particular video we cover two features of sap hana first one in memory computing yes sap hana has in memory database yes in memory database means data can store in the main memory in the ram itself and because of that we can process that data we can process large amount of data in real time whereas in traditional databases you all know data is in the secondary memory hard disk so at that time firstly you need to bring the data into primary memory then you need to apply the operations this extra step is not here and because of this in memory computing yes we can process large amount of data in real time now we will go for second thing sap hana is designed in such a way that it can support both olap and oltp now traditional databases are only only suitable for oltp they are not suitable for olap then we covered what is olap and what is oltp oltp stands for online transaction processing olap stands for online analytical processing yes word itself has the difference transaction analytical so your day to day transactions are the example of oltp but whenever you are consolidating those transactions and doing the analysis that is the example of olap with the help of this itself we can predict in case of oltp volume of data is always less because you are going for day to day transactions but in case of olap we are consolidating the data and then we are doing the analysis so traditional databases yes they work for oltp because volume of data is less but whenever it comes on to olap yes traditional database will not provide the good performance but you all know in case of sap hana yes we have in memory database because of that in memory yes it can support both olap and oltp in the best manner and that's why the word or single statement is written yes we can handle both oltp and olap using sap hana now in the next video we will move on to the next features or we can say core concepts of sap hana so that's it in this video thank you